Ah, 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 Every year on the 30th of May, indigenous people of Biafra who are fighting for the independence of their state, which they say was annexed into present-day Nigeria by colonialists, converge at various venues across the world to commemorate their heroes. In an event dubbed May 30th, 2021, Biafran Heroes and Heroines Remembrance Day, we visited one of the commemoration venues that is at a park at Union Buildings in Pretoria, South Africa. The event pulled members of the Biafran community under the auspices of the indigenous people of Biafra from Gauteng, especially Johannesburg and Pretoria. The event was marked by prayer for the independence of Biafra, speeches by different Biafran leaders in South Africa, music by Magic Finger, one of the most well-known musicians from Biafra, and a candlelit ceremony in which names of the fallen Biafran heroes were read out and their souls implored not only to rest in peace but also to continue guiding members of the remaining Biafran revolutionaries to continue fighting for their freedom. Happy Obi, happy Obi, from biggest family. Biafra remembrance day prayer. Fellow Biafrans, we are gathered here today, Obochi. I don't know whether we should kill our phone or worry, but all the same, couple of them to go and get the man Being 30th May 2024. To pay befitting Biafra memorial service and journey of remembrance to not only honor our heroes but to ask the almighty creator to to grant their spirit eternal rest in his kingdom. It is our custom through the ages for Biafrans to pay their respect to fellow departed Biafra. Our thoughts and prayer are with all families, good loved ones, father, mother, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, husband, wife, children, unborn children, nursing mothers and many more were killed during the war. And being killed, men beheaded, massacred on daily basis by Islamic Jihad in Nigeria. And also all their friends who have died fighting for what they believe in. And at, the, at this moment, we invite every family and friends to remain connected for the memorial service and journey of remembrance. We remember our people. As dozens of names were read out by different speakers, each list of names had a special message. Among the messages read after the names were read out, using a lighted candle, raising it up facing the east, the beer friends said, for their dreams left unfulfilled and their lives taken too soon away from us and humility we remember and may their courage be our inspiration and strength. Some we have forgotten, others are sealed in our memory, a wound that do not heal. May their courage be our inspiration and strength. Also, key among the messages read out and those that were said from the heart was the exhortation of the Biafran court to stand up and fight for the freedom of the state.
We will also remember Comrade Bernard. Okay, we also remember Austin Anita. Using a lighted candle, raising it on facing the east. I will also remember Comrade Ikechuku Aja. Using a lighted candle facing the east. Resident all facing the east, we say general response by all. For their dreams left unfulfilled and their life taken too soon away from all. And humanity will remember. And may their courage be our inspiration and strength. Second leader. The soul, of, the soul of the righteous are in the land of Kokadia. And there shall be no more torment, torment, torture them. In the sight of unwise, they seem to die. And their departure is taken from Israel. They are going from, from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastened, they shall be greatly rewarded. For Chuko Kabiyama proved them and found them worthy for himself. We remember our brothers and sisters, our fathers and mothers, and the children who sacrificed kept the dream of Biafra based on truth, love, and justice alive. <coughs> Using light candle, raise it up facing the, the east, we say, General response by all. May their courage be our inspiration and strength. A separate prayer was also held during the event for the arrested Biafran leader Mazi Namtu Kanu, who was kidnapped in Kenya and detained in Nigeria under extrajudicial detention. This is despite the fact that the Nigerian courts have found Mazikanu not guilty of any offense and directed that the state should release him. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Lift your voice. Commit our Messiah, the Jesus of our time, the prophet of our time, as a Lift your voice and begin to pray concerning our leader, our great Messiah, the prophet of our time, the oracle of our time, the man that God has sent to deliver the people of Biafra, the man that God has sent to deliver those that are in captive, the man that God has sent to set us free. Open your mouth and pray. Every hand, visible hand, material hand, every visible and invisible, let the hand pray. Let them let it be broken. Let it be broken. Kaka we ma jie. Ako bula joni sanye. Nan fu. No bula Nigeria. Kaka we ma jie ta. Me pano guma bara. Ina 
us. We have a mighty God. We are serving a mighty God. We are going to go. Oh God of Biafra, arise! In the life of an Americano, arise! In your anger, arise! And give us freedom. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The God of Biafra, the God of Alibo, Chinaka Kandibo, Chinaka Kochi, Chinaka Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, be anywhere on the map. God of the Lord is here. Open your mouth. Metalist Chima Ibi and the coordinator of the indigenous people of Biafra here in Pretoria. Yes, today, as a matter of fact, we are here to remember those that have died in our struggle since 1937. Since we have been, Biafra has been to existence before Britain came into Nigeria to create a first nation called Nigeria. Biafra have been into existence, I repeat again, before Britain came. They created a, a first nation called Nigeria in 1914. Since then, we have been saying no to that nation that we are not part of it and they are forcing us to be part of that nation called Nigeria because of the resources they saw in our land. Once we came out to say no we are not part of it, they will, be, they will begin to massacre us. They begin to kill our people. They have killed so many. Many have died. This caused war in, this caused a war in 1967 that ended in 1970. When they when there is a blockage, they block every means that food came into our land. Children die in thousands each and every day. Five children die in every minute. They, they, they don't want to tell the world the accurate number of the death that happened during that time. About five million Biafrans died during 1967 to 1970 war. We are not counting of those that have killed before the war, or those that have killed after the war. Even up to today, they are still massacring us because our, of our quest for freedom of Biafra. So on every 30th May of every year, we gather to remember those that have died. That is what we are doing here today. As we have gathered, we are here to remember our heroes and our heroines. It's a duty of those that are living to remember those that have died so that we shall live. At the same time, we are praying, remembering our leader who is in, in their custody, who did, who did nothing and was kidnapped in Kenya. And up to today, is in, is in their dungeon, in DSS prison. The court have decided and acquitted him but they refuse to let him go. Nigeria government doesn't obey the, the law. There's no law that is working in that entity called Nigeria. So that is what we are here today to do, to pray and to remember those that have died, and also to pray for the almighty God whom we serve and believe on, to help in the release of our leader, Mahase Nandika. Good afternoon, great peer friends and the lovers of freedom. My name is Masi Onyedekachi Nihanacha, known as Comrade Onyeka. Today we are celebrating, we are remembering our fallen heroes. Today, which is 38th May 2024, we are here in Pretoria to honor our great heroes that died for us to live. And uh, I want to emphasize more on the 
arrest and uh, detain of Mas Namdekado. Actually, he was kidnapped. An extraordinary rendition to Nigeria from Kenya. And since then, he has been detained in solitary compartment in DOS detention center back home in Nigeria. He was, he was, he was kidnapped and uh, was also tortured for eight days before he was rendition. He was extraordinary rendition to Nigeria. So we are appealing to the whole world and we are also appealing to Africa, to every lovers of freedom and friends of Biafra, to caution the management of Nigeria, those that is managing Nigeria, so that they will obey their court orders. Because their Abi court has already discharged him and acquitted him from all the lies and propaganda that they have leveled against him. But uh, it's quite appalling that uh, the corrupt politicians refuse to let him go. And uh, we stand on the, the court order that has released him, acquitted him, and uh, said that they should let him go. So there is no charges against him anymore. Every other trial that they want, that they want to do on Mazin Nam De Kalo is not acceptable by us. So I appealing to the world to caution Nigeria to release Mazin Nam De Kalo so that he will go free. Self determination is not a crime. It's a right. It's a part of human right, and it's also a shrine in U.S. in U.N. chapter of indigenous people. We are appealing to the world today. That is our message today, to grant us referendum and release Mazin Nam De Kalo so that our people will have their freedom. Thank you very much, and uh, may the almighty Chukwu Kikabiyama bless every Biafran, every lovers of freedom, and also friends of Biafrans that has come out today all over the world to celebrate today's Biafran Heroes Day. Thank you very much and may Chukwuki Kabiyama bless each and every one of us. Reporting from Pretoria, only single bay, AVG News.
Take it, take it. 